Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. When people think of Tesla and why they're so different, people usually talk about the batteries, the performance of the electric motor. But Tesla changed the rules of the auto business, and with it, everything. They did that with a tool called software. The future of the auto industry comes down to batteries and software. This has been a top reason why people has been so bullish on Tesla, and why the company is now the most valuable car company in the world. Because the software in your Tesla allows Tesla to change pretty much everything in the car: the driving features, the range, acceleration, and bring totally new features to the car, like sensory mode, or just making features a little bit better down the road, simply with a new software update that enters your car over the air, just like magic. Tesla truly made the smartphone of the car industry, and this will be one of the biggest. Challenges of the big auto companies. Let me tell you why the big boys' cars that are rolling off the assembly line right now are already obsolete, and why they need to focus on software to get back in the game, and why this is a much, much bigger task than it may appear to be. Let's dive right in. Software. It should be the main focus of Volkswagen, BMW, Mercedes, Ford, GM, and so on. Not actually making better batteries or battery electric motors. That should also be a priority. But to bring truly integrated and good software into their cars that can be updated over the air. Because every car that comes off the assembly line right now from these big boys are already obsolete. So if they want to get back in the game and come out with cars that are not outdated, they need to bring software to the table. And Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, BMW, Daimler, and so on—they are experts in combustion engines. Everything else in their car is pretty much made by someone else. And in the future, there will not be a combustion engine in the car. So if they want to survive and stay in the game, they need to change their business strategy and be much more in control of what they are making and start becoming experts in what is actually going to be in the car in the future: batteries and software. Are they already making cars with batteries in them? Okay, they do not match Tesla's battery technology, but at least they have batteries in their car and do a decent job of making a decent electric car. But where they are not making a decent job is in making a decent software, because they don't. Ninety percent of Volkswagen software today is outsourced, and all their many systems don't really talk to each other, because it's not one operating system; it is many. And I'll get back to that. And each of these subsystems has been outsourced to suppliers who offer it better, faster, and with lower cost than Volkswagen can do themselves. And that is what the big boys are all about: cost and profit. That is how you get low vertical integration and low pace of innovation. Volkswagen has been saying they're working on their own operating system, a Volkswagen OS, but Volkswagen is nowhere near getting this done and done right. Even former CEO Herbert Diess said in June 2020, it will be years. Before we have reached the necessary level of expertise in software to be able to compete at the forefront, even today, hardly one line of software comes from us, and that is their Achilles' heel. Software is the future of cars and everything else. <laughs> Or let me rephrase that: software is already the ingredients that makes the always connected car great. 
But so far, it is only Tesla that has been able to see this and already have their own operating system controlling the whole car and it's all made by Tesla themselves. And one of the reasons Tesla has got this right from the beginning is probably because their CEO, Elon Musk, knows how to code himself. At 12 years of age in 1984, Elon Musk programmed the game Blastar. Something CEOs of big autos can't even do today as grown-ups. <laughs> so Elon gets it. He understands it. Your answer to them is, we've done it. And he can see if someone is a good software engineer or that one. The other CEO of the other car companies can just cross their fingers and hope they have hired someone who knows how to code and do it well. Because at least they're waking up and can now see they need to build great software for their cars. Because Herbert Dice did just lose his CEO role because of the software disaster with the Golf 8 and the ID3. But what will change with the new CEO? Does Ralph Brandsetter know software? Or are they just as bad off now as they were before? Time will tell, but I don't really think this will change much. They really need to get some good software engineers and programmers into the company because making software is hard and making good software is even harder. Even Elon Musk has said software is hard and finding great software engineer is a big challenge, even for Tesla. So I can only imagine how bad it is for Volkswagen and everybody else. And I think it's bad because people from Volkswagen has said about their software problems, it's an absolute disaster. We just can't get people. And this is going to be a disaster if this is true, because they are already more than 10 years behind and are now in a hurry to catch up. But if they can't get the best people in the industry, they will never catch up. As Peter Mertens, formerly Audi's head of RD and board member, said in June 2020, I say this with honesty. In my own responsibility, we all slept to a certain extent. And that's not only the auto industry, but in particularly the supplier. I have made wrong decisions. We have trusted too much that the supplier will make it happen somehow. We slept. It will be bloody. Yes, they did what they knew how to do, rely on suppliers. But the suppliers were of course not going to spend billions of dollars and making innovative software and could of course not make a whole operating system for the cars on their own. They just did what they knew how to do and all the automakers bought their software anyway, so of course nothing happened. The big automakers had to do this themselves to take control and not rely on suppliers to come and save the day. But they just didn't get it and woke up too late. And will forever play catch up with Tesla. Because Volkswagen don't expect their own Volkswagen OS to be ready before 2025. And Volkswagen will probably only make about 60% of their software themselves and still rely on supplier even in 2025. According to Christian Singer, member of the board brand of management of Volkswagen. So even in five years time, they don't expect to fully make their own software and operating system. Just imagine where Tesla will be with their software in 2025. And Christian Singer also said, the main bundle today is the interconnectedness of hardware and software in the car. Just one example, currently up to 70 control units operate with software from 200 different suppliers must be networked in the vehicle of the Volkswagen brand. Oh my God. 70 control units with software from 200 different suppliers. And to top it off, this is making it even more complex by using different systems for similar functions, such as infotainment system and navigation. This just shows me how badly integrated things are in the auto industry. Software from 200 suppliers. And then Tesla comes along, makes a car where everything is much more integrated and they only have one software supplier, themselves. 
and Volkswagen will never get everything to talk together in the car when they have 200 different pieces of software. Not a chance to bring something to the table as good as what Tesla can offer its customers. This is just such a big challenge for the auto industry to go from 200 suppliers of software to do it yourself when you don't even know how to and can't get the people that do. Software is going to be just as a big issue for the big boys as getting enough batteries. Because with batteries, they can try to rely on other suppliers and do some kind of partnership to build new factories. But with the software, they have to do it by themselves to really get it to work and be an integrated part of the car. And they are pretty much starting from scratch. It is a car company that suddenly needs to become a software company. Something Tesla has been from the beginning. It is like a farmer that after 50 years suddenly needs to become a rocket engineer fast. And Volkswagen and all the other guys really need to get this right. Because this is one problem they can't just throw 8 billion euros at and fix it. And so far, that is exactly what they're trying to do. Which just shows how little they get this game. Because as Christian Singer once again said back in the end of 2019 in a presentation at the Frankfurt Auto Show about the new software team, the streamlined operation will have a workforce of as many as 10,000 developers. Volkswagen had earlier outlined a plan to about 5,000 digital experts into a single unit that will develop Volkswagen OS, a uniform software operating system across all new models. That all sounds great, but then again, they have not even solved the software problem of the ID3, which maybe 100 or even 50 good software engineers could have solved. This is just a testimony to not understanding software. Just hiring 10,000 people is not going to solve it alone. They need some of the best and brightest mind in the software industry. And they all want to go work for SpaceX and Tesla. <laughs> and that is a big problem for Big Auto. Yes, this will be bloody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It does really help out this video so others can find it as well. And if you are new to this channel, you should consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this all the time and have a weekly news episode every Sunday about Tesla, Elon Musk and everything in between. And if you can't wait until Sunday and want the news as it comes out, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I tweet almost all the news in there as they come out. And you can also check out my new Instagram page. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for the support. If you want to support the channel even more, you can for as little as one dollar support this show. But it really means a lot for the channel. And to all my Patreons already supporting the show, thank you so much for your support. Really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.